When I first stepped onto the picturesque Beloit campus, I was only ever drawn to the now of the place. I had known the college was established in 1846, making it the oldest college in Wisconsin, but never did I think of it in a true context of a historic setting. After arriving here, usually the farthest I would think back on this campus was through riveting tales and sometimes mischievous experiences of my upperclassmen, but that was only a span of two or three years ago. Never did I think of the campus as a fully functional, living, breathing environment in an era such as the 1920s. The same quad that I walk out on every day was once walked upon by students almost 100 years ago. And the gravity of this didn't quite hit me until I found photos of places I recognized around campus from the 1920s in a recent Fridays with Fred article, graciously provided by Bob Hennert. I've always had a strong connection to photographs and their ability to capture a moment and store memories. All my life I've been taking pictures, cataloging events, and some of the most emotional moments I've experienced have been looking back on old pictures. And looking at the pictures from the Fridays with Fred article, it was even more powerful to see places I pass every day on my way to classes in their black and white historic present. After looking at the pictures more closely, I could even align specific sites with current pictures of campus. And after viewing these old pictures, I made it my goal to take these aligned pictures for myself and make what was in my mind's eye a reality. Seeing them align made it even more surreal to me that 100 years of time certainly brought some differences, but I could still catch remarkable glimpses into the past from the remarkable likeness of some of the photos. Here you can see women playing basketball in 1896, a year after the college became co-ed. In the second photo, President Maurer stands with his white cane. Here you can see students building a bonfire behind Chapin Hall. And in this photo, female students enjoyed physical education through horseback riding across Campbell Hall. I would have never imagined horses trotting across campus before I saw this picture. Even the students looked like, with an outfit change, they could be taking classes in the current day. It was important for me to keep in mind that these people of the past had senses of humor and were, for all intents and purposes, college kids. In older pictures, the people of the era usually tend to look prim and proper, but in these shots, they seem to be carefree and fun-loving, like many modern Beloit college students I've encountered, such as these fraternity brothers forming a conga line after their victory in a class contest in front of a very recognizable whack building. And even though time has brought new changes and customs with it, the spirit of human humor still lives on through the generations. It's refreshing and even touching to see them laughing, playing games, and working together. We rarely seem to remember factoring into the unknown. Especially when it comes to places, we often don't use research or even our imaginations to find out what a place was like before we ourselves experienced it. How many different memories could one spot hold for the people who came before us? We make places like colleges our own, but many times we're so absorbed in our little worlds, we forget we are but one brick in a wall that keeps building upward. And it's especially hard to think on this when we are so unaware of how we aren't thinking about it in the first place, like trying to remember what you've forgotten. But sometimes, through stories, often told by photographs, we are able to look past our present filter we set for ourselves and appreciate what came before us.